I'm Xiaoxiao. Welcome to my channel, Xiaoxiao Yarn. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to creatively mend your jeans using the beautiful art of sashiko. Not only will this technique make your patches more durable, but it will also add a unique aesthetic to your garments. Let's jump right in. Materials and tools. Gather the necessary materials and tools for this project. You'll need sashiko thread and needle, a ruler, fabric marker, safety pins, sewing pins, scissors, and a table. It is especially helpful for thick fabrics like denim. We are one or jeans and some fabric pieces for patches. Step 1. Assessing the damage and preparing patches. With a big hole like this one, I'll start by cleaning up the frayed edges to ensure a neat mend. Use your fingertips to identify the weakened area, which is usually thinner and softer than the rest, and mark the edge. I'll add an extra 2-3 to cm to sew into the stronger fabric for better durability. My hole here is too close to the seam, so I'll mark it here and add a reinforcement later. Measure the marked area on your jeans. Mark the same length of lines on the patch and add a 1.5 cm on each side for folding the edges and cut the fabric accordingly. For patches, I recommend using natural and sturdy fabrics like linen or cotton. I also like the softness of them since I'm making an inner patch. Insert a notebook or board between the fabric layers to prevent catching the other side. Align the marked lines on your jeans and your patch, and then secure the corners with the safety pins. After that, the middle points of the lines. I eventually transferred the marked lines to the right side of your jeans by following your pinned points. Step 2. Applying whip stitches. You always want to insert a board or a notebook to separate the two layers of your jeans, so your stitches don't grab the other side. Make a knot. Start with a few anchor stitches about 1cm away from the edge. Tacking the edge for about half a centimeter. Secure it with sewing pins. Repeat this process around the hole. Your needle should come out near the folded edge, catching all the layers. Then return the needle right at the edge. Come out diagonally. Your new stitch should be about half a centimeter by the previous stitch. And keep going. For rounded corners, make the stitch on the patch closer to the previous one and the one on the jeans a bit further. This creates a neat look. Keep stitching until you complete the entire round. Finish with a couple of anchor stitches. A knot. And hide the thread between the layers. Give it a check and cut it off. Congratulations! You've successfully applied whip stitches. Step 3. Sealing the patch I use a hair marker to crease the folds. Feel free to use anything that's similar, but you can also find the link in the description. Then I trim the inner corners to reduce the bulkiness. 
Fold it back and secure it with basting stitches using a thin thread. Make sure you're not using your strong sashiko thread here. Mark new sewing lines about 5mm below the previous marked lines to ensure your stitches catch the folded layers. Hide your knot under the patch, make anchor stitches, and start sewing along the square using such cool stitches, which are simply running stitches. If you're new to hand sewing and sashiko, you might find this project a bit challenging. In that case, I recommend watching my previous videos on the basics of sashiko and starting with simpler projects. You can find the links in the description below. Return the needle, add anchor stitches, make a knot, and hide a small piece of thread under the patch. You've sealed the patch beautifully. Step 4. Adding sashiko details to enhance the durability and to create aesthetics. Firstly, I'll put Itomizashi cross stitch here. Begin by drawing a 1cm grid at the corner. Follow the grid, 1 stitch per grid, then turn at the corner. When you finish all the vertical stitches, you can start the horizontal ones. Start from about 5mm away from the middle of the horizontal stitch and return your needle at the middle of the next grid. Here is your first cross stitch. Keep sewing. This very basic Itomizashi sashiko pattern is so practical and will strengthen your mending. I will also add straight lines for reinforcement using knots and back stitches when there is no patch fabric on the other side. Then continue with sashiko ones. Here, since there isn't a patch, I'll just make a knot and weave in the rest of the thread. Feel free to incorporate curved lines for a balanced look. Check the description below for the tools I use in this tutorial. Additionally, as mentioned, to maintain the flexibility of the seam, I will use diagonal stitches here instead of adding a patch. There you have it, a beautifully mended pair of jeans. With whip stitches and sashiko, you can explore endless styles in visible mending. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to share your own visible mending project with me on Instagram by tagging Xiao Xiao Yan. I love to see them. Thank you for watching. Happy Monday. See you soon.